This is skull crashing finale, not crushing. I spelled it wrong. Okay, but enough of that. Subscribe to me up there. Give you some time to do that. Done that? Good on you. And this is my Survivor Series 2010 predictions. And we're going to start off with a match I actually don't know has been confirmed yet. But it probably will be. Daniel Bryan versus Ted DiBiase. Singles match for the United States Championship. Now, since he split from Legacy, Ted DiBiase hasn't got that much of a push. I thought they were going to make the Million Dollar Championship an actual championship. Obviously, they're not now. Um, Cody Rhodes has got a better push than him. I don't know where they're going with him. Daniel Bryan. I'm not sure. I think Daniel Bryan's going to retain her. You know what? Scrap that. I'm going to go for it. I think this is going to be Ted DiBiase's push about to begin. Ted DiBiase, I think, is going to win. And I think he'll win clean as well. Okay. Caval versus Dolph Ziggler. I, the last night on SmackDown was the first match that Caval's won. I think Caval's a really good wrestler. But when you get a title shot, come on, come on. All of you think about this. If you get a title shot, why would you pick the Intercontinental Championship over the World Heavyweight Championship? I don't get that. But obviously... WWE don't think he's good enough yet. He has only won one match since he's been on SmackDown. So, they've got to give him a push, surely. So, he's got to win this match. I, I can't see Dolph Ziggler winning this match. If he if they do, if he does, I'd be surprised. Okay, next match. Team Mysterio versus Team Dario. Ooh. I'm going to go for... Oh, should I? Nah, Team Dario is going to win. I won't, I won't go through all the names. But, um, now, last year, if you remember, in this match, it was Team Kobe versus Team Randy. Because they were having a rivalry at the time. And this was the place where Sheamus got a massive push. Just before TLC. Now, normally this is a Survivor Series is where uh, people get pushes, mid cards to the top cards for WrestleMania, and I think this could happen with two people in here. I think the two people that are going to come off looking good from this are MVP, who has been getting a massive push on SmackDown recently. And I'm going to go for Cody Rhodes as well. I like Cody Rhodes. I think he's a good wrestler. His match. Who did he play last night? Kobe Kingston. I like Kobe Kingston as well. That match was really good. Okay, so I'm blabber on. John Morrison versus Sheamus. As Santino says. Anyway, did you got you guys found... Anyway, I'll get on to that after the next match about Santina. John Morrison, I think he's absolutely fantastic. I think he's probably one of the best wrestlers in WWE. That's my opinion. You can argue with me in the comments box. Um, Sheamus is going to win this because John Morrison just making him look ridiculous. Sheamus has looked really... They've made him look really poor because... Santino beat him. That just says it all. Morrison's going to win. Clean cut. Finish him. Right. Now for Nixus versus Santino and Kozlov. I can't see, it. I can't see Santino and Kozlov winning this match. Nixus has got to retain. Santino. You know what he's been getting... A bit of a push recently. 
I really like Santino. I found his, his sketch in Manchester fantastic with the tea party. By the way, when you were watching that, the Manchester, did you, was I the only person that wanted to smack Michael Cole's head off? How many times in that show did he say, I need to get out of this stupid country? Oh. I thought his sketch with JR was quite good though on Monday Night Raw, the old school one. Anyway, I blabber on, stop doing it. Team they cool versus Team they cool, what a name versus Natalia. The heart dynasty is broken up, so Natalia is gonna get her push here. She just lost a two on two match on SmackDown. Yeah, of Kenny Kelly. If she loses this match, she's just going to look really, really poor. So she's had about three chances. A two and one handicap. I think she is going to win. She's going to come off looking really strong. Natalia is going to be the new Divas champion. Kane versus Edge. Simple enough. This one's probably the easiest one to predict. Kane is going to win. Oh, could anyone interrupt? No, it's a non It's a disqualification match. Paul Bearer, he might have a bit to play in this match, but Kane's gonna retain because Edge is not. It's normally in these matches. What I'm saying, whoever looked good, is always the one that loses. Because most of the time, it's reverse psychology. If you look over the last few. Pay good views. Kane's gonna win. Paul Bearer will have some to do with it. Now let's leave quite a bit of time to talk about the main event. Randy Orton versus the future. First ever English born world okay, WWE champion. Because he's gonna win this match. And everyone knows it. Because John Cena is not going to get fired. These are the options. I think they can up. Way Barrett. Wins the match. Clean cut. Down the middle. He actually beats Randy Orton. Now Nexus. It's a non-disqualification match I think. And Nexus. Can't interfere. That leaves room. To the Miz interfering, could or the one that I think that might is Kane because we still don't know why Kane, why Nexus interfered in Kane's match um, with the Undertaker at bragging rights, so Kane can redo his juice or something. I don't know. That, funny enough, that could actually, what people are saying at WrestleMania, the unification match, that could lead to Kane, Randy Orton, someone having a feud, which could lead to that unification match. I don't know. Anyway, I hope that unification match doesn't happen. Anyway. Um, but yeah, my other option is Cena turns hill. I can't see it happening. Really can't. They actually made and put on the Nexus shirt. And they put it on for one week. For one second. Because they didn't want to learn, lose merchandise. He's not going to get fired. He's not going to turn hill. He's going to clean it. Put, put it down the middle. Give a result down the middle. Tom's going to interfere. I think, this is my opinion, I think Way Barrett's going to look strong. He's going to win. Clean cut. The Miz is going to cash in. And he's going to be the first person to ever lose it. Lose the money in the bank. Briefcase. Bang. I'm Skullcrushing's finale. Subscribe up there.